Hello and thanks for joining me for this new video. I've received a lot of requests to create a video or a series of video about initial setup of Oxyprops and about the various settings. So I think this will be a series of small video so you can pick the ones you are interested in. And let's start by creating a brand new site. Okay, so we are in my terminal. I use Hyper as my terminal. I will not spend a lot of time explaining the tools I use. Just uh, for you to know, I will use a script to create a brand new site. And uh, you will see a link probably at the top right of your screen right now to a video I made explaining in details how these scripts work. So the website is created and it automatically opened my dashboard. So here we have the plugin dashboard. And of course you notice that I'm saying Oxyprops, that's the name of the plugin. But as we are using Bricks, the plugin detected Bricks as your page builder. And so it's using the name Bricks Props. So don't worry, that's exactly the same plugin, but Bricks user prefer the name Bricks Props and Oxygen users prefer the name Oxyprops. So before we explore the settings, we will open our Bricks editor and have a look at what happened just by installing the plugin with the default settings. So let's take our sample page, for example, and edit it with Bricks. And probably the first thing you notice if you have never used Oxyprops is that when you usually have a white canvas for your page, I have a black one. And this is because by default, Oxyprops assigns a background color to your HTML element. The HTML element is the root element of your document and it has a background that has a value of the CSS variable for the framework, which is surface one. And we will come back later to colors, but what you must know right now is that surface one is a responsive color. And in Oxyprops framework, a responsive color is a color that will be responsive to your website visitor color scheme preference. Here, my system is set to always use a dark color scheme. So my system preference was understood by my browser and then it renders the dark mode version of the surface one color. If I switch my system preference to the light mode, automatically my canvas switch to light. Okay, so by default, your website will use a responsive color. And you have noticed that I did switch between light and dark using my system preference. So this will be the one used by default if nothing else is set. But of course, you know that a website can override user system preferences. And that's the case. You will see later that uh, Oxyprops include a custom element that let you insert a light dark toggle to your website. And to make things easy for you as a developer, when you install Oxyprops, it adds this light dark toggle to Bricks Editor menu bar. And this allows you to switch between light and dark modes. And when you develop for light and dark mode, this allows you to preview at any time the light version and the dark version of your website. And don't worry if the website you are building doesn't need to support light and dark modes, you can lock Oxyprops color scheme to a single scheme that will be, that will be used both for light and dark. 